generally speaking, for wingsuit pilots, the flare is about controlling our airspeed for our opening. Gaining altitude in a flare isn't necessary for a good wingsuit opening. In fact, it's very rare. Most people will not gain altitude when they flare their wingsuit. But gaining altitude is really fun. So the main point of gaining altitude in a wingsuit is to enjoy it, to have a good time. It's an exciting and awesome maneuver that is possible with certain suits. So how do we do it? How do we go up? Well, it's pretty easy. The first ingredient to a good flare is speed. The second ingredient is an efficient body configuration. The best flare comes from level flight, not from a steep dive. The steep dive is the lead into it. The steep dive is where we get our speed and our energy. So out of the steep dive, the next thing that you need to do is transition to level flight. If the goal here is to gain altitude, if what we want to do is climb in the flare, what we need to do is maintain the most efficient body configuration, which is arms level across your chest, a slight de-arch from head to toe, as much tension as we can put into the suit lengthwise, and a very rigid, firm, and flat body configuration. If you change your angle of attack rapidly from low to high, that is from a steep head low flight to head high very rapidly, you're not going to gain any altitude. The flare will be deceleration. You're basically going to be entering a high speed stall. So we change our angle of attack very gradually. We start with steep, fast flight, we slowly level out, and then we increase our angle of attack so we can start beginning the climb from the bottom of the arc. To initiate the flare, we're gonna try and do it more with thought than with action. The inputs needed are very small. Generally, it's enough to think that you want to change your angle of attack to be higher. Any bending of the knees, a change of sweep in the arm wing, or an arch, or a significant head position change will result in a loss of efficiency and a deceleration. If you feel like you're stuck in kind of a low AOA, what you can do is push your toes down. So legs straight, toes pointed, lengthwise tension pulled into the suit, and we just push our toes down a little bit. That will help to increase your angle of attack to bring your head a little bit higher. And as that momentum begins, as you come out of that steep dive, let it continue. Let it slowly transition to level flight. And then as you begin to decelerate, because that speed is being converted to glide, you can increase your angle of attack more aggressively the more you slow down and the more you begin to climb. So it starts slowly. In the beginning, when you're flying fastest, you need to have the most finesse. The inputs need to be the most gentle and careful. As you decelerate and begin to climb, you can be more aggressive with the angle of attack increase. And your angle of attack should be highest at the apex of the flare. Once you reach that point, if you've gained any altitude, then by definition, at one moment, the apex of the flare, your vertical speed will be zero. You'll transition from the ascent to the inevitable descent. That's where you can check your fly side track log, mark it, look at the lowest point, do a little math, and you'll have your flare height. When we reach the apex of the flare, we don't necessarily have a mission. We're just skydiving. We have plenty of altitude. So do a trick. Try something in that low G environment. It's a lot of fun to transition through the bottom of the flare, feel the G-force, feel that sensation, and then feel it decrease as you climb until you get to zero Gs at the apex, and then you're just free falling back towards Earth. It's pretty awesome. So throw a trick at that moment. You can do pretty much anything you want. It's low airspeed. It's really controllable and easy, and it has a lot to do with balance and the way that you throw yourself into the trick as opposed to actually flying your body. So if you've played with flares a little bit, the question is, are you flaring and decelerating, or are you flaring and gaining altitude? There's one way to find out, get a GPS. Pay attention to your horizontal speed, your total speed, your vertical speed, your glide ratio, and your elevation. These are all really interesting statistics to track your progress when you're learning to gain altitude in a wingsuit. 